Hey guys, this is Sophie from REST Community and today I want to show you again the Lenfold M4 Pro and this time I want to show you the apps that I use on this great watch. Um, first of all, I want to show you the basic that come with the, phone, with the watch, excuse me. Uh, the calendar, as you can see, it's very simple. Very simple. You can't, I mean, you can't do nothing with it. But if you install calendars, I want to, just in a second, I'm going to show you this. But first of all, I've already installed Google Calendar because you need it if you want to synchronize all your events and everything to other calendars. You need the Google Calendar for that. Okay, this is the Google Calendar. I don't enable sync, automatically sync. Trust me, if you want to make sure that battery will last longer, make sure that update and automatically syncs won't work unless you do it manually. Okay, let's go back. As you see, this is the Google Calendar. Now, I use this calendar. It's called Gear Calendar. It's very nice. It's made very nice. I, you, can you can choose whether to see the whole month or to see a day or to see a week. A um, not, excuse me, a week. Just a sec. Or a week. Just fine. And it synchronizes everything that you need. Let me show you. You see, this is my accounts, and it's synchronized with them. Display. This is the everything that you want to synchronize with. Okay, this is the gear calendar. Get, just write gear calendar on your. Google Play Store and you'll find it. Okay, let's let's go there and I'm going to show you it. Which one I have, I've installed. Oh, my apps installed. Okay, I will talk about this keyboard. See, this is the Google Calendar. Just a sec, I think brightness is too high. Okay, let's see now. Hello. Yeah. Okay. This is the calendar that I use. Calendar gear. Okay, this is the keyboard I use. The one that's called 1C Big Keyboard. I know, I like it. I use different SMS. Evolve SMS. This is for tracking my fitness. It really great because you can track everything that you want sleep and any activity okay even heart rate tried it doesn't work with the camera here because it doesn't have flash okay by the way this is the back button this is the home button let's go back Floating Commander works as long as the screen is on it works I've tried to do it that it works with any screen even off screen not working just with but the moment any notification comes in you can use it or just you know wrist gesture and then you can say okay Google you don't need this I put it but trust me the when the battery uh, reach the 100% it's already notify you as I said you need the Google Calendar to sync any other calendar this is a very very important app to have on your any smartwatch this is called Google just to search it's very important I have linked for it on our web on our uh, community and 
the, our forum just go there and look for it google gesture i don't know why you cannot easily find it on the google play store so if you want to just leave a comment on the video and i will put a link for it uh, guys gps status trust me it works but if you want to know if your gps works on your phone on your watch excuse me on your watch well honestly it's a phone it's very small phone but it's great small phone uh, i don't use this to i yeah i okay i feel curious use it to see if it works or not but this is not what i've used to check to test my gps i've used google map to check and it works fine i even have other app that i use to check for buses and works fine really really fine even better than my phone hangouts hot on top the only app well not the only app the second app that i found that they actually use the built-in sensor the heart rate sensor the other one is just junk because it's not accurate and the developer doesn't do anything it's called glide run and trust me you don't want to use it it's drain the battery and for and it's not accurate at all if you want to use this for activity any a, a heart a heart app, a heart rate app for activity, use this one. It's great. I use M2D receiver. Uh, M2D, I use it for a notification to get notification from my watch to my phone on, or from my phone to my watch. It works with three, three connectivities, BT, 3G, and Wi-Fi. That's why I love it because I have a SIM in my watch and I can use it without the phone near me. As I said, I have Google Map. Uh, actually, it comes with the watch. Uh, this is other MTK engineering. It's great if you want to know if you are no, you're, you know what you are doing. Music player, tr but the stock player is just fine. This is for pop-up notification, as you can see here. The one up. Um, okay, I open it. All right, let's me close everything. You see this one? You see it? Okay. It's floating. Okay. Uh, this is the notification when, again, when what pop up on lock screen, you see your notification. It turn on your watch, phone info, push bullet. I use it because um i like it i don't know i like it even though i use m2d i use it also um you know the more the merrier <laughs> this is something else uh, as health um i'm using different one i sleep as android this is this one i've used with the samsung health because they are can be synchronized together this one smart touch is this why I like it because I can use it with any app that I want and I don't have to be to upgrade to put whatever I want okay just great um let's go back okay what did I do oh never mind go back my apps installed Let's see where I was. Yep, here. Um, okay, about the keyboard, I will talk. This one I love. I really love. Guys, I don't know why the activity apps that I've put on my Lenfold Lem 4 Pro stopped working after it shut off and then I rebooted it. I don't know why it stopped working. The sensor, as you can see, it doesn't show any info, and it worked just fine. It worked very, very well, and no in great influence uh, impact on battery life. I mean, this this watch is seriously one of the best watches I've used, considering battery life. I mean, seriously, I've put lots of app as you could saw on this watch and they don't drain the batteries fast. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit thick, okay? It's thick, but on my hand, it looks great. And by the way, I use it on my right hand because 
when, as you can see, when it comes that way, I can easily use the button and to see the screen. It doesn't come that way. I've tried the rotation, it doesn't. So I put it on my right hand. By the way, on my left hand, I put another watch. I love this one. I, I just hope, I, re, I want to flash it and then see why it's not working. I will check this out and I will tell you what to do. That's about step counter. It's, as I told you, it's great. It shows you all the info that you want. The, the, the mile that you walk, the kilometer that you walked, consumption, calorie, and time, okay? This is just great. This is a great app. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Again, this is the back button. This is the home button. This one, I know you will love it. So I'm not opening it from here. I'm opening it from here. I want to show you. It's funny. It's not, well, it's great. You can see it's a launcher. Just a launcher. It's a great launcher. Okay. Let's go back. Um, this is the this is the app I told you about. It worked amazingly great. Okay. This one actually works like this and like this. Okay. This is amazing. I really. No GPS receptions uh, because I'm not outside, okay? But it works just fine, trust me. The GPS works just, just fine. I really love this watch. Everything with the connectivity, GPS works, BDIC works, uh, 3G works really well, and everything together with battery life, it lasts a whole 24 hours. Trust me, it, it lasts the whole day of using it. I mean, you can go early in the morning and late at night and you still have the watch on. Let's go back. Okay. Back. And this is the keyboard. Now I wanna talk about the keyboard. I've put different keyboard because the stock keyboard is very limited and I did not like it. So, to show you the keyboard, let's go to settings. By the way, I will talk about the uh, the update, the auto update. Somehow it does not work. Let's see if it works now. See, it starts downloading, but somehow it's not. So I will flash it with the latest firmware so let's go back um, okay just to show you that I'm not using power saving see it's off okay I've used the home button instead of the back buttons okay the keyboard the current keyboard okay choose keyboard you see the keyboard that I've choose I've chose is on the Google voice typing is on and of course the stock keyboard is off now if I use messages like messages and just to write something okay yeah I forgot that I use I use different app for notification let's go to this app here there it is okay remind me later I don't need now I just okay this is this is the keyboard and trust me you can use with it everything that you need it if you hold and do it very okay I did not you get this the setting of the keyboard Okay, so let's go back and no, this is not what I wanted. It should uh, bring you something else. 
you have to play with it to learn it. Okay, it's not working, but you can use all the, as you can see, I've chose the launch that I use, but this one should open different display, not just that, but also a different display, just play with it. I love this keyboard, or you, but you can use any keyboard. You can use Google keyboard with it, Samsung keyboard, and it will work fine because this is a square display, so every keyboard can work with it. It's a great watch. Everything works just fine with it. And I want to show you that, trust me, this, uh, this watch, in matter of better life <laughs> that's just amazing I mean one of the things I love that the straps even if they dam are damaged I can replace them and better life for my activities this one I can rely on as I told you I'm using it 24 7 as I can rely on to use it for my activities and I w won't be worried about better life because it does last the whole day I mean, it lasts the whole day with two hours of beating, GPS and 3G always on 24 seven, and it's just great. Wi-Fi I use only when I'm at home and I'm downloading something big. I'm not, the, I'm not using Wi-Fi if I'm not downloading anything, even if my, I am at home, okay? The second, the, the last, the, uh, just a sec. Next video will be on watch faces. This is watch faces that I've put it, okay? Oh, there is something cool that I wanna show you. Uh, no, it's not here. Just a sec, I will talk about the watch faces and how I uploaded them. Just looking for it. What is it? This one is so cool, but then on a square display, on a round display, it's different. As you can see, it will come on round display, but on a square display, ta-da, different. I didn't now though know that. So I will talk about what traces and how to add them. So bye for now, stay tuned, and please subscribe. Bye.